Lisa Cole, the math lady, and today we're talking about adding whole numbers and money. Now I imagine for most of you this is going to be a review, but review is never a bad thing. So let's go ahead and get started. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to give you some definitions about addition. We're going to talk about what's different about adding with money, and then we'll talk about some properties. Let's do it. To get started, I'm going to pick some simple numbers. 83 and 54 and we're going to add these together but before we do that let me share some definitions so these two numbers when we're adding them together they are called add-ends it's a pretty simple title add-ends so 83 and 54 are my add-ends when I add two numbers together so let's go ahead and add them 4 and 3 is 7 8 and 5 is 13 my number 137 is called the sum. So when we add two numbers together, or more than two numbers, we call it the sum. Now when we're adding money, we still call these our add-ends and our sum, but the one thing that's different about adding money, we want to make sure that we always line up our decimal points, and then we add. So now here I've lined up my decimal points for you, so I'm ready to add. 3 and 4 is 7. 7 and 5 is 12. I personally like to just bring down my decimal point right here so I don't forget that I'm dealing with money. So you can go ahead and write that decimal. Again, they are lined up and keep it going. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 and 5 is 12. And you see that I've been carrying the 1 anytime I get over a number with 10. And lastly, my 1 plus 1 is 2. Add my dollar sign onto the front. We have $224 and 27 cents. Finally, I want to talk to you about two properties of addition. Take a look. So if I decided I wanted to add 8 plus 5, 8 plus 5, we know that equals 13, okay? But what if I decided I wanted to add 5 plus 8? So I'm starting with 5 this time, and I'm adding 8. Well, that also equals 13. Well, in math, this is a certain property that we called the commutative property of addition. Here we go, commutative. Means it doesn't matter the order that we add the add-ins, the sum is still going to be the same. I want to introduce you to one more property of addition. Take a look. Let's say I had a number like 17, and I decided to add zero to it. The answer is still going to be 17. Let's see if that works for a few other numbers. If I had a number 26 and I added 0 to it, my number is still 26. So in math, 0 is the, represents the identity property of addition, meaning that when I add 0 to a number, my sum is the identical number that I started with, which is where we get identity. And 0 is called the additive identity. Since it's zero, that gives us this special condition where we end up with the identical number we started with. And that's it. I wasn't lying when I said it was pretty simple. Quick review of adding whole numbers and money. That's it for me today. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.